I'm Michaela Sander, and I will be giving advice for listening and speaking in the classroom. Um, so the first one, and I think the most important thing, is um, silent period and wait time. Um, so most second language learners go through a silent period um, where they don't talk um, in the classroom. And teachers should not assume that because the student is not talking, they aren't learning because they are learning. Um, during this time, the students are figuring out how their new language works. Um, so, student, or, so teachers should not force the students to talk um, before they are ready. And then wait time is when teachers ask a question, they have a wait time um, for students to like process their thoughts in English before speaking or responding. Um, like an example is a student might have to translate the question given, figure out the answer, and then translate their answer before they can respond. Um, so teachers need to be patient after asking questions. And then teacher talk in the classroom. Uh, teachers usually do most of the talking in the classroom. Um, but teachers should try and talk a little less and plan activities um, and opportunities for students to uh, speak in front of the class and just to each other and groups. Um, so one approach is to use more open-ended and higher order questions um, that require students to elaborate on their answers. And then teachers uh, need to adjust the way they speak uh, to their ELL students to make sure that their speech and is comprehensible to the students. And then um, correcting student speech errors is also important. Um, you have to know when to correct their speech. Um, if students are never being, if students are being corrected every single time um, that they make a mistake, they're bound to get frustrated and um, just quit talking in the classroom but also if a student's speech is never corrected, um, it's going to affect their oral English skills. So they need to be corrected, just not every single time. Um, and then a student's speech should be corrected in a manner that avoids embarrassment. So not correcting them in front of all of their peers would be recommended. And then um, there's also, you can also indirectly correct their mistakes. Um, by correcting them in your response to them, like restating what they say correctly. And then um, students will eventually notice and acquire the correct form unconsciously. And then productive talk moves is um, about scaffolding classroom discussions and how it is a success. Um, the five talk moves, um, they're um, revoicing, which is um, the teacher tries to repeat what the student said. And then repeating is where the teacher asks um, a different student to restate someone else's reasoning. And then reasoning is where the teacher asks students to apply their own reasoning to someone else's reasoning. So they have to combine their reasonings. And then adding on is when students are prompted to um, further participate and elaborate. And then the last one is waiting, and um, that is using wait time, which I talked about earlier. And then um, we need to increase peer interactions. Um, so activities um, are structured to support student to student or group interaction, um, ELLs, are during those ELLs are required to use English to explain concepts and um, contribute to the work. And it also gives uh, the teachers an opportunity to see where the students are at and what they are learning and um, uh, record their progress in their English development. And then we need to figure out what background knowledge the students are bringing with them and um, the more background knowledge you have, the higher you can go or the more you can do. Um, and it's, it may not always be easy to see what building blocks or background knowledge the ELLs um, bring with them due to the language barrier, um, but we need to do our best to find out those so we can help them connect 
um, the lessons to previous lessons and their uh, life experiences. And then, um, so teachers drawing on the chalkboard and drawing on uh, background knowledge becomes really important.